Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very delicious and very easy to do tuna salad sandwich. Now canned tuna at times can be extremely fishy and very blah, so you have to dress it up with loads of vegetables and pack it full of flavor. So first up, I'm going to dice all my vegetables starting with this red onion, and what you want to do is slice it horizontally and then slice it vertically as thin as you can. Then you're going to turn it back the other way and slice it all the way across, and this is going to produce very small dices of red onion. Alright, so once you're done cutting up your red onion, you're going to grab two branches of celery and dice them in a similar fashion. Uh, you're just going to slice them up into very thin strips, turn them sideways, and then dice them all the way across as small as you can. And this is going to be very similar in comparison to the red onion, uh, but maybe slightly chunkier. And the reason you want these vegetables cut as small as they are, because it's just going to uh, blend very evenly while still providing a very refreshing crunch uh, texture to the salad mixture. Alright, so last but not least, you're going to dice up your kosher dill pickle, which is probably going to be the chunkiest of the three vegetables. Um, the reason I like to make this sort of the star of the three is because really it's going to be adding a lot of acidity and dill flavor to the salad mixture, which in turn is going to take away a lot of that fishy flavor from the canned tuna. Um, once you've diced up all your vegetables, add them to a small mixing bowl. Then you're to add your strained tuna. It's very important that you strain it. That's where a lot of that fishy flavor comes from the, that nasty tuna water. Um, and then you're gonna add some mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, salt and pepper, and some olive oil. Give this a very good mix uh, just to make sure that all your ingredients are thoroughly combined. And then it's on to toasting your bread and making your sandwich. Once the tuna salad mixture is done, you're going to lightly toast two slices of bread. Could be wheat, rye, sourdough, it really depends on whatever you prefer. Um, and then you're going to give a healthy portion of the tuna salad mixture right on top of one of the toasted pieces of bread. And then here I'm just going to dress a little salad of baby spinach, lemon juice, olive oil, salt and pepper. And put that right on top of the tuna salad mixture and then sandwich everything in between another piece of toasted bread. And there you guys have it, a very delicious and very simple tuna salad sandwich. guys well there you have it this is my signature tuna fish sandwich I probably have this I don't know once a week this is a good sandwich I mean sandwiches exist to make our life easier I believe it's just a very good variation of a tuna fish sandwich so let me dig in and tell you guys how it is the only thing different that I did with this sandwich that uh, I don't normally do is the spinach that's a nice little spin just because it gives it a little bit more of a crunch um, aside from all the vegetables that are already mixed inside the tuna um, but it's just, it's almost like replacing lettuce that some restaurants would normally put on a tuna fish sandwich. So, all right. Mm. So good. Wow. That's my tuna fish sandwich. I've been making this since I was probably 13. It's just really easy, very, very inexpensive, especially if you're buying canned tuna. Of course, you can go out, buy fresh albacore, and poach it and make your own uh, tuna mix. But really, if you guys are on a budget and you just wanna do something really quick, this is the perfect sandwich. It's just packed full of flavor. All those crunchy vegetables, you have the celery, the red onion to give it a little bit of spice, the pickle that's nice and sour, the brininess from the tuna, and um, a nice acidity that coming from the spinach that's dressed with the lemon juice. It's just really good, very simple. This took me about 15 minutes to make. 
And once you've really got this recipe down, it probably takes you even like five to 10 minutes to make. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please thumbs up and subscribe. Comment below for future video requests, things you wanna see on my channel. I'm super excited for the rest of sandwich week and I hope you guys are too. Until next time, stay hungry and I'll see you with another delicious recipe. Bye everybody.